seas. I got you right here. Yeah, air. Give me some. Hell yeah, you... yeah. Get... Oh! <laughs> Got him. What is going on, guys? This is the video that I've been waiting to shoot for you all. I feel like I can bring the most to the table when it comes to bed fishing. This is going to be the top three baits that you're going to want to buy before basket on bed. Now, let's jump into that video. All right, guys. Let's jump straight into it. My first bit of choice for when a fish ice gets on bed is going to be the Gantrell. This bait comes in three different sizes. You have a junior, then you have the regular size, and also you have the very biggest size of them all. Now, one quick side note about this bait. If you're gonna throw this bait and you get the regular size Gantrell, or you get the biggest size, you're gonna need an actual swim bait rod. But I got good news for you guys. If you get the junior size, if you got a really stout jig rod, a heavy rod, you can throw the junior size one. Now guys, I want you to take a close look at this bait. This thing has been destroyed. It once was a beautiful bait. It is no longer beautiful. It is missing an eye, as you can tell. It has been bit by numerous fish. This one particular bait has caught an eight pounder, a 6.15 ounce bass, a 5.13 ounce bass. It catches bass on bed and off bed, and also a couple of fours that wouldn't even on bed. Now, one quick tip for you guys and one trick. If you're using this as a bed fishing bait, you actually can connect a uh, snap here and then use an egg sinker. So what that does is when you swim this bait down into a bed, it goes nose deep down. And you can pretty much keep that bait there and when you jerk it back and forth, it still has that swimming like motion. So it's like a brim actually eating the eggs. Daily guys, if you get one bait and you have to spend some money, this is the one, it's not cheap. Um, make sure you don't snag it. This is, like I said, the mid-size one. For my conventional bass, conventional guys, go with the junior. That's my number one pick, guys. The Gantrail, solid bait. Let's get to the next bait. All right, the number two lure is actually the Matt Lure's Ultimate Gill. This bait is a great bait. I don't even have it anymore. So, we're gonna pause this video I might actually play a clip from when I actually did have this particular bait. Frustrated. Oh! <laughs> now, one sad note about this particular bait is it can rip easy, guys. I'm talking about potentially one fish and the bait is destroyed. Now, also, if you get this bait, make sure you get some mended. You actually can fix it patch it back together, it may look like a Frankenstein bait, but it's still gonna get bit. Now, it's super realistic, and the cool thing about it is, when this bait goes into the bed, it sits nose down perfectly. So a lot of times on those giant bass, you have to keep it in a very precise area and keep it on that spot. With that Matt Lewis Ultimate McGill, you can just shake it in that one spot for 10, 15, 20 minutes, get that bass agitated, watch it flare up, and get ready to eat. Now, on this particular bait, you want to get the model with the flat tail because you actually could fish it like a jig. Guys, great bait, super expensive. So if it's not seven pounds or eight pounds or nine pounds or 10 pounds, do not throw it. Don't throw it at a two pounder. That two pounder can cost you a $28 bait. So that is one bait you guys want to look at. It is phenomenal, but it's not super durable, but it will get hammered, guys, as you saw in that video. Now, this year, I actually want to try out the American Trash Sunfish and give that bait a try. See if I actually can get bit on that particular bait. Now, that is the number two bait. Like I said, highly effective, but likes durability, but will get you bit on a giant fish. Let's get into the number three bait. Number three, the third and final bait. This is a bait that gets bit all year round, so you don't have to worry about spending money on one tactic. Let's get into it. And that is the old faithful jig. That's right, a jig. You cannot go wrong with a jig many times a bed season. One reason is you can throw this in there, you can flip it out, go right past the bed, drag it in there, and not spook that fish. Plus, with a jig, it can be fairly heavy. And you can maintain it and keep it in the same spot. Like I said, a lot of times bass have a sweet spot where they're actually bite. 
So you have to be really precise with the area that you drag your bait or your jig in. Now, one super important thing about the jig is getting a trailer, that's right, and getting one that you can see. It's super important to be able to see when that bass actually bites your jig. Because many times when you're fishing on a bed fish, they're not gonna actually bite it and eat it. They just wanna get it off the bed. They wanna drag it out and not fully commit. So you wanna be able to see when that fish actually has that bait in his mouth so you can set the hook. Cause they'll pick it up, drop it, they'll rush up on it. Sometimes they just wanna fully commit to it. So make sure you get your jig. Also, if you have with your jig a blight trailer, make sure you dye the tilt of the crawls like a chartreuse color. That way you can visually see where it's at in location to that bed and also how close the bass is to it. And it truly, if it disappears, Next, get your pretty good size trailer so you can see it with your ass. But sometimes those bigger bass can bed six, seven feet, eight feet out um, from the bank. So you want to be able to look down and see precisely where your bait at. Guys, so that is the three baits that you're going to want to have. Now, the first two are super effective in highly pressure water because bass is going to see a fluke. They're going to see a lizard, a worm. Not many guys are going to be throwing the Gantrail or the Matlow's Ultimate Gill. Those are expensive bait, guys. In the Matt Lures, you're gonna to wanna to have a swim bait dedicated rod for that one. But, like I said, the Junior Gantrail and also a jig will get you big, guys. So be sure to watch for full moons and half moons once the water hits that magic degree and you guys will be ready. These three baits, I guarantee you, will get you big. The first two is gonna make that PB bait. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video added some value to your fishing techniques this year. Tight lines, be sure to subscribe.